double the the drawing shows would allow trains to communicate with railroad stations, both in parts of the White House. <laughs> what we know today is radio. <laughs> Kentucky, unlike Hollywood, California, loves to hide its ugly past. The Commonwealth of Kentucky was one of the last of the states to split from the Union. The South has a working-to-live philosophy. It's free to get in and not so free to get out. The price the Kentuckians paid was, if they would agree to join the Confederate Army, it would be for only one year and were promised they could go back to their old Kentucky home that would be free and clear from debts. So they joined. The man on the left is Attorney Colonel A.P. Thompson, and the man on the right is Attorney Captain William Stubblefield, or Captain Billy, the subject of this episode. The girl is from the Tyrolean section of Austria. Oh yeah, Clarice wrote the love ballad if I only knew to carry the boys into the battles of the war. In my Just wondering how things are with you. If I only knew. If I only knew. Have you forgotten me? A love that was sincere. And so true And are you sometimes lonely If I only knew La Pastorella Go to the church Dear Diary, that has been perhaps the bloodiest conflict on the continent, not accepting Manassas, but I desire to say here and now, for the benefit of my family and boys, that I've been where I ought to be, and I've done nothing that they will ever have occasion to be ashamed of. There were nine wounded in this fight. In my own company, 
none fatally, I think, and none killed. In reference to the muscle rolls I have and may make out, will show the names of those in my company if this should ever become necessary for any purpose. Everything that was fun in life was forbidden. My job at the Union was to be nice to the wounded prisoners. You weren't allowed anymore to ride your horse out of town. Death was everywhere. As Captain Billy left, he read to me the following, August 24th, 1862. Dear Disappointment, Washed up, put on clean clothes, and felt much better. I read a pamphlet written by Mrs. Beecher in 1846 entitled The Illnesses of American Women and Children. She writes very sensibly, but as all other Yankees, she's trying to accomplish something else than what she pretends. They know the habits of a rat, and at once can take advantage of those habits and build a trap that his habits and passions drive him into.